Good morning, children. You are all welcome to Sunday school. I hope you are enjoying your holiday. We thank God for that. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name, everlasting Father, King of glory, we thank you for another opportunity to be before you. Accept our thanks and praises. We thank you, O Lord, for giving us life, provision, for your protection over each and every one of us. Glory be to your holy name, accept our thanks and praises. Father, we have come before you this morning to come and learn at thy feet. Jesus, come and teach us, teach our hearts, write your word on the fleshy table of our hearts, and help us to be good boys and girls. Thank you because we know you are bad and you have answered, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You are all welcome to Primary Pass class. Today's lesson is lesson 13b. And the text, the title is Sold as a Slave. Our memory verse is The Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. Genesis chapter 39 verse 21. Our text is taken from Genesis chapter 37 verses 12 to 28 but we are going to read selected verses open your bible with me to genesis 37 children and i'm reading from verse 13 i'm reading verse 13 and israel said unto joseph do not thy brothers feed the flock in shechem come and I will send thee unto them. And he said unto him, Here am I. Let's go to verse 18. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Yes, we're going to read 28 and that will be the last. 28. 28. Open to me, open with me. 37 verse 28. Then they passed. Then they passed by Midianites machinders and they drew and lifted up joseph out of the pits and sold joseph to the ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver and they brought joseph into egypt close your bible children and listen to the lesson Children, can you see what I have in my hand? 20 pieces of silver. 20 pieces of silver. That was the amount Joseph was sold to the Ishmaelites as a slave. If you can remember also, somebody was sold for 30 pieces of silver. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the Lord please come and help us. And this will now bring us to our lesson. Sold as a slave. Jacob, Joseph's father, told Joseph to go to Shechem to check up his brothers, how well they are doing with the sheep in Shechem. He took the sheep to Shechem to feed them. But when Joseph got to Shechem, he did not see his brothers and he met a man and asked from the man if the man knew their whereabouts and the man told him they've gone to Dortan. May the Lord please come and help us. We have to be obedient children. Joseph obeyed his father and went. And when Joseph did not see them in Shechem, he went to Dortan. 
to check them up. And as soon as they saw him coming from afar, because he was putting on his coat of many colors, they planned against him to kill him. Why did they want to kill him? Because they hated him. They hated him because his father loved him. And also, Joseph had been telling them the dreams he has been having. So they were not happy about Joseph. And they planned to kill him. And as soon as he got to them, they stripped him of the coat of many colors. And Reuben said they shouldn't kill him. They should put him in the pits beside them. And they threw him inside that pit. They took the food from him and were eating. As Judah lifted up his face, he saw some traders, some merchandise coming. And he made a suggestion. Instead of us killing Joseph, why don't we just sell him to the traders, to the Ishmaelites? And they agreed and took Joseph out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. Thinking the dream has come to an end. But they forgot God planned Joseph's life. God has a plan for Joseph's life. So also God has a plan for our life. God was with Joseph. So also God is with us, children. They sold Joseph away and then they took the coat of many colors, killed the goods, put the blood there and went to tell their father a lie. When you are in sin, you will always tell lies. May God come and help us. They sold Joseph out to the Ishmaelites as a slave to Egypt. But that did not stop the plan of God for Joseph. Because it was God that planned Joseph's life. Our statement this morning is, God has a plan for us. God has a plan for us, children. May the Lord please come and be with us and save us from this telling lies. Our activity for today's lesson, ages 2 to 5, color the dotted spot. Ages 6 to 8, Use the code on the phone to bring out the word. Next week lesson is lesson 13C, titled Trouble for Joseph. And the memory verse is taken from Isaiah chapter 43 verse 5. Fear not, for I am with thee. Thank you, children. God bless you. That is the end of our lesson. Bye. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Answer Class. The title of our lesson today is Chapter 2, Historical Israel. We have many passages to read. So, I will read selected view as the lesson is going on. Our key verse for this lesson is, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 8. I know as school children, you have books that have chapters. Chapter 1, chapter 2. When you are reading, you have to read chapter by chapter, 1 before 2. Last week, we studied about 
chapter 1. Titled, Christ the Cornerstone. Today, we are studying about chapter 2. Historical Israel. In our lesson story, it's about Logan, Seth, and their dad. Logan's dad asked Logan whether there were questions among the quiz they had in the contest that day about the children of Israel. Logan was wondering, no, we don't have any question on that. It's only about Jesus. So we want to go into our lesson to see how the prophecies about the children of Israel connected to our life in this world. The chapter of the lesson is 1 to 13, from 1 to 13, that leads to new heaven and the new earth. We have to make a choice. As you will see in the lesson, Seth and Logan, the, their choices of preparing for heaven. So I will start with the question. Question one is that what promise did God made unto Abraham? We are going to read that in Genesis chapter 22. I'm reading from verse 15. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, by myself have I sworn, said the Lord, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. God has fulfilled this promise to Abraham, And through Abraham, Jesus came, which is of the tribe of Judah. And through him, salvation came unto all mankind. The second question now, that have to be on the children of Israel, what? as were some of the promises that God made about the children of Israel that connected to our days and the Bible about going to heaven. You can read their dispassion and restora restoration. I want to read that one from Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither your thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. That once has been fulfilled. And the restora restoration of the people. I'm going to read that in Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21. Ezekiel 37, 21. And say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nation whither they be gone, 
and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. The dispersion and restoration of the people, that one has been fulfilled. The prophecy of desolation of the land. I'm reading that from Leviticus chapter 26, verse 31. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 31. And I will make your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries into desolation. And I will bring the land into desolation. That has been fulfilled. And there are restoration. I'm reading that from Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 35. Ezekiel 36 35. And they shall say, this land that was desolate is become like the garden of Eden and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. That is the word of God. Many prophecies that has been prophesied about the children of Israel has been fulfilled. God promised to make them a nation. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 42. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember and I will remember the land. When Logan's dad was talking to him, telling him what he read from the news, from the magazine in 1948, Israel has become a nation, and in Six-Day War of 1967, they have the full control of Jerusalem. All these prophecies have been fulfilled. Are there anyone that yet to be fulfilled? Yes. The ones that are to be fulfilled will be after the rapture, when there will be tribulation on this world. In all this, what concerns us today, God has given us promise as well that Jesus is coming back to take us to heaven. The question is, are, we, are you ready? Am I ready? God wants us to be ready. Logan was preparing, praying for his brother that he himself will be half mind of getting ready. Though Seth was thinking, oh, I will do it someday. But a day may be too late. Today is the time for us to think about heaven because all the prophecies that to be fulfilled has been fulfilled and the one yet to be fulfilled will be fulfilled. So we need to ask God to help us. The key statement for our lesson is God always fulfilled his promise. All the promises that has promise will be fulfilled which means we should be ready children god will help us if we are not ready yet preparing 
for the coming of the Lord, today is the day to make think about it and get ready for the coming of the Lord. That the activity is God made a promise. In the puzzle is promise. Find out what was the promise, who was it for, and some people that were included in the promise. God bless you. Our next week lesson is lesson 107, chapter 3, Sign of the End Times. The key verse is from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Shall we pray? Jesus, we thank you for the primary parts lesson. We thank you for the answer lesson. Write this word in our heart. Help us to obey your word. Help us to prepare for your coming. And at last, take us to heaven. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. See you next week. Bye.